Is your name Lubin? Good morning, happy Wednesday, and today is March 29, 2023. Welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Kyer. And yo, what's up? I'm Leland. We're so excited to be here with you all on the daily video announcements. Now, let's please stand, place our hand over our hearts, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Remember, it's the final quarter of the year. Check your work and school emails throughout the day to finish this and, and be PBIS responsible young adults. Be safe and be respectful. I'll be troubled. Flex Bell's participating in No Woman Danny's Pencil Balancing Challenge. The March Madness is in full swing and be ready to bounce those pencils and report those numbers. Yes, it's time to check and mark your calendars for our school events. Show your support for the Major League Baseball, baseball teams opening day this Thursday. Wear your favorite team gear this Thursday, which is tomorrow. Go Cincinnati Reds. Over to Sam for our upcoming Stuco March Madness, Bob Tab, the contest information, and reminders. Hello everyone, Sam from Student Council here with an update. Make sure you send all your final totals to Mrs. Lolly at 3 p.m. today. That is today at 3 p.m. Send your totals and we will have an update for our brackets. Thank you. Keep collecting those pop tabs and turning them into your flexible teacher and may the best flexible team win. Yes, wear your favorite Major League Baseball team jersey tomorrow, which is Thursday, and collect those pop tabs to report final totals today at 3 p.m. Welcome to the final quarter ever in this old building. And air testing is quickly approaching in a couple of weeks. Our first testing week will begin on March, April 11th with ELA air testing on April 11th and 12th. Now we have today's Women History Month star. We're learning about Wilma Rudolph, an American athlete who is the first black woman to make a major impact on international track and field. She recovered from childhood polio, pneumonia, and scarlet fever to win three gold medals at the 1960 Olympic Games, the first American woman to ever do so. Her post-Olympic career included goodwill ambassadorial work for the American government in Africa, as well as campaigning for work for the civil rights movement. Wow, thank you. Next up, did you know? Iceland grows 500 meters per year because of its moving tectonic plates. Whoa, that's definitely got the science teacher for you. Next up, National, National Day. Day. Today is National Manatee Appreciation Day. Manatee Appreciation Day on the last Wednesday in March focuses the world's attention on the herbivore with no known natural enemy. Also known as a sea cow, manatees are vulnerable species due to their contact with humans, boating, and pollution, as well as the other external forces threatening the manatee. Okay, over to Sam with our magical Monday. I can't believe that Lucky locked us up. I K R. Wait. Sorry, I talk in abbreviations when I'm nervous. You will never find the key! Perfect! Hey Harry! Yeah? If they escape, go ahead and chase them. Find them and bring them back. Sir, yes sir. Can you find the gold at the end of the rainbow? 
Also, if you have any more ideas for Magical Monday, fill out the form on the Google Classroom. Bye! What an unexpected twist. Make sure to fill out those surveys on Google Classroom if you have any ideas for future episodes. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Elizabeth R. And have a wonderful birthday. Now over to Mr. Harris. Hello, my name is Evan. And I'm Kieran. And we're filling in for Mr. Harris. Track athletes, a reminder, if you're competing at Loveland Invite at the end of the day, please change and meet in the old gym. All other track athletes, no practice, go home after school. Sycamore Junior High First Tech Challenge Robotics are finishing up the final regular robotics Monday meetings coming up on April 3rd and April 10th from 3 to 5 p.m. We will be working on honing catting design skills, printing 3D parts, and assembling project work with our high school's world championship bound Sycamore Juniper Robotics team, as well as planning the final stages of our team party being determined via our Google vote. Check your email or see Mrs. Jarvis for details. Go Sigma Robotics! Take on the world! All second quarter straight A students, if you earned straight A's during the second quarter and received an email regarding the Cincinnati Reds straight A program, please see Mrs. Manning in the counseling office before April 6th to claim your ticket voucher. Way to go, students! All library books are due back next Monday, April 3rd. It's very important. We will start packing up books next Monday. If your book is lost, we will apply a replacement fee to your parent portal account. The fee depends on what your book is. That's all we have. Go Aves! Hi, I'm Corey, and I'm introducing Mr. DeJoy and Mr. Stern as our man of character. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern and Mr. DeJoy here to do our character awards. We are we are late this week. How yeah. was your spring break? Wonderful. Great spring break. Yeah, sure. it was great. I uh, had a great opportunity to go to New York with the choir, and they were amazing. I, I, it's just amazing. I, I think other choirs were blown away that they were from a junior high. That's fantastic. I, I, saw, I saw a lot of pictures on Facebook, and uh, hey, congratulations. What a great job. No doubt. So. So, um, it is Wednesday. We will be in, in classes tomorrow, but before we look forward, let's look back. Uh, we've got a couple of character awards this week. This one goes out to uh, Braden Fisher, and it says, During the first quarter of eighth grade, I was bullied and ignored and viewed myself of little importance. However, because you are always willing to look on the bright side and can share a smile, I have changed my point of view on school. Thank you. Wow, we haven't had wow, one like no. that in a really long time. What an impact, Braden, uh, you had on this individual. Thank you so much for um, turning things around for this young man or, or woman. I have, we don't really don't really know, but it's it's uh, very pleasing to read that. Yeah. So uh, we'll make sure that uh, we get a one topping Papa John pizza for you because that is well earned yes and it was well deserved Braden. uh thank you for doing that uh, this week i have elise wagner and this person wrote about elise um we became friends this year but i've always thought of you as a nice funny person you bring out the best of me and i know always that we always have so much fun together so elise thank you for uh I'm sure this person really appreciates your friendship, and thank you for what you do uh, with your kindness and support of others. All right, talking about doing great things, we are 40 days away oh, yeah. from 8th grade day. Oh, right. uh, big fun day for the 8th graders over at the rec center, the grill out, the sports, um, the just hanging out with your friends and just having a good time. So make sure you are staying off that discipline log. And so far we've had a, a really good week, so great, hopefully good. we can uh, continue that. Uh, tomorrow you are heading oh, where? Oh, uh, Mr. Sager's class. And I believe I am in Ms. Shaft's class. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's that, good. That, that'll, that'll, that'll be good. Should. So hey, we visit classes on Thursday, but you can make a difference any day of the week. All right. Have a great day. Uh, I appreciate it. Now it's time for the joke of the day. I got a good one. All right. All right. All right, all right let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear. What do you call a potato with glasses? I don't know. What? What do you call it? A spectator. <laughs> Be extraordinary, Sycamore, and follow our PBIS expectations every day. Have a wonderful week and go, go waves. waves! And now, now we're expected. This is Would You Rather with Cassie. Alright, Cassie, would you rather have an extra week of spring break or get off of school one week early? Uh, get off of school one week early. Why? 
Um, because it would make me happy, and I don't like not being happy. Okay. This is Madame Hunt. Bonjour. All right, Madame Hunt. Would you rather only be able to wear shorts or only be able to wear pants? Shorts, easy. Nobody likes to wear pants. Okay, thank you. This is, would you rather with? Mateo. Okay, Matthew. Would you rather be a boat or a statue? A boat. Why? It, it can move more. Okay, 